music. And you think it's got a lot of heart and depth in it. Wake Shop kind of kind of sets things right. You know what? In fact, we have some people here. Raspin mentioned that uh, songs about uplifting you, dragging you out of life, living you, finding a, a better way. Okay, there he is, Raspin. Isn't that true? Well, how did you say that? You met people and, and uh, that, that you kind of you, they like the spiritual message in your songs. And, yeah. Yeah. People, you know, everybody has issues. That's true. Well, my issue was, you know, I, I knew that I was going to sing with a, a great songwriter here tonight, and I, I have been guilty. Uh, a few years ago, I thought, well, I know I write some really good songs, but I need to fatten the set out with a lot of, you know, beautiful cover tunes, and, and also to get people to sing along and that sort of thing. And I kind of fattened my songwriting right out of the, the set a lot, and I've only only had a few. So I was, I told Chad, I said, I've got to finish one up today. And uh, it's a reggae song. So Vinnie John Banks, yeah. Maybe you can relax for a moment, Bo, but I'm gonna bring you back some more. And I didn't, I needless, I didn't get the song written. I spent so much time getting, waiting on rest, hand and foot, getting the show ready for him, worrying about it, fielding his phone calls, Dwayne, nobody's coming. I just went on and on, went on and on, you know, and I just, I totally had a breakdown and I didn't write the song. I didn't write the song. But, while you were singing, Raspin, I wrote a verse for the song. I mean, I taught Chad the chords, everything, and I didn't have to do much. And so I wrote a verse for it. So you're going to have, you're going to see part of our process. This is an intimate show. So uh, it's part of the songwriting process. So you're going to get a verse and a chorus. And uh, I just have to do it, just to put a little reggae in there, you know? Uh oh, where, oh, there it is. <laughs> so hot off the pen, the chorus uh, came to me. I woke up from a dream. I, I was really uh, exhausted and depressed, and uh, and I woke up with this song in my head. And there was a guy, a Rastafarian man, bouncing to the clouds, clouds in my head. Going, I said, "You happy bastard? Why are you that way?" You know, I was miserable. I mean, but it was this beautiful melody and song going on, and it sort of wrote itself. Let's see. Except for the verses I didn't write. And I said, I have to I have a little work to do. What am I writing? Right? Can you get this at E? Okay, let's do it at E. Most people I know that are unhappy, I mean, there's definitely, there's tragedies, and there's where you're crushed, or someone dies, and the horrible accident, those people are in grief, they're in shock, they're in despair, momentarily. The people that I know that are unhappy all the time, no matter what, they're really working at it. They put a lot, they're very invested. Have you ever noticed that? You say, well, it's a nice day. Mm -hmm. Well, just, you know, look at that pretty dog. It'll probably going to bite you. you know, that takes a lot of thought and effort. It's true, isn't it? Yeah. And I've known people like that. Don't fall in love with them. Or you want to write songs like this. <laughs> Why do you sit in silence all the day? You can't simply lift your eyes and see another way. You will find happiness if you just make up your mind to find take one step over the rainbow to step into the sky and through step out to the sunlight. Why don't you? Why don't you? Why don't you just try? Spread your spirit and let yourself soar. You can fly over mountains. Don't you know that's what life's for? But with two hearts beating together, and there's one. 
Why don't you, why don't you just try?